two works for you weather. And we're tracking another breezy day here in northeast Oklahoma. Current temperature 48 degrees here in Tulsa. Winds out of the south southeast at 15 miles per hour. So that southeasterly shift in the winds going to supply us with some low level moisture, keeping uh, the state of Oklahoma out of our fire weather watches and warnings for today. Those are going to be a bit to our north um, in portions of southern Kansas and in portions of southern Missouri here and there under that fire weather warning. Now on our visible satellite last night, we did see a couple of those fires burning here in the state of Oklahoma toward our north. So uh, as we had throughout the day, that risk is going to decrease Thankfully, temperatures all throughout the area going to be in those upper 40s, 48 in Tulsa, 49 to our south in McAllister, 49 even to our north in Coffeeville for this morning. Now, if you have any outdoor plans, going to be a beautiful day. Maybe go out, ride the bike, take a dog for a walk, warming up into those lower 60s for this afternoon. Increasing cloud cover going to be in those mid to even upper 60s at times as we head into our 4 o'clock hour. Still dealing with those gusty winds. Could see gusts up to 30. 30 miles per hour for today. So go out and enjoy this nice weather while you can because we have a really active pattern setting up for us this week starting tonight and into tomorrow where we're tracking a widespread rainfall and an occasional thunderstorm possible for us as well. And then check out the end of the week ahead tracking chances for rain nearly every single day into the weekend. So here's our future track clouds and radar. We're going to go ahead and map this out for you. This is this evening increase in cloud cover southern flow rain starting off to our west moving through after sunset for us here in Tulsa where we're tracking widespread rainfall as we head into your Monday morning could see up to a quarter to a half an inch of rain at times also a couple of rumbles of thunder could be possible within this time frame but as we head throughout the afternoon we get a brief moment of clearing before another round of thunderstorms looks to set up as we head into your Monday evening now we are expected to warm up into the 70s tomorrow, which is going to supply us with enough energy to sustain some thunderstorms as we head into your Monday night. So this is going to be mainly south of I-40, um, impacting the Callister, Stigler, Poto area as we can see some of these thunderstorms start to set up as we head into your Monday night, closer to the midnight hour, leaving the state of Oklahoma by that time. Tuesday, things are looking up for us here in the morning, mostly sunny skies for your Tuesday afternoon, and then we're tracking uh, some rainfall possible for late Tuesday and into your Wednesday. But for tonight, low of only 55. Going to be a really mild night in store with that cloud cover and those winds out of the south. Around an 80% chance of rain. It's a pretty widespread rainfall on the way for tonight and into tomorrow where we're seeing 70 stick around for the week ahead along with multiple rounds of thunderstorms possible for us here in the state as well. Just a sign that spring is on the way. And speaking of thunderstorms, it's yesterday uh Myself and other members here at KJRH were out at the National Weather Service Tulsa Storm Spotter training, preparing for the severe weather season ahead. And uh, National Weather Service Tulsa, they really are the backbone when it comes to our safety in the spring. Uh, they don't get enough credit. Uh, we, our jobs would be much, much more difficult without their help. And it is that time of season, so I'm glad you went to that. You will be out there in the storm Exactly. Tracker. They supplied us with great information that I will supply to you guys as we head into the spring. So and keeping us all safe. All safe, yes. All right, thank you, Kerrigan.